we have heard that a half a million children have died. I mean, that's more children than died when, when, in, in Hiroshima. And, and, you know, is the price worth it? I think this is a very hard choice, but the price, we think the price is worth it. So basically what the American Secretary of State is saying that it is worth it to see half a million children dying from U.S. sanctions. This is what the people of the Middle East think about the Americans. The Americans came to Iraq and left behind it. It was still there, but it caused the death of over one million uh, people and mostly are civilians. They went to Syria and today they occupy the northeast Syria. And as Donald Trump rightly said, he said, I want the oil. So he is stealing the oil and preventing the population from benefiting from oil and gas and food because it's a part that is mostly cultivated. And he's also blocking the trade between Iraq and Syria by controlling the borders between Syria and Iraq. So I'm not going to go into every single details, but just to tell you, when I hear Margaret saying 90% of what we read on social media is nonsense, well, actually it is nonsense, but it is a false narrative. It is disinformation. It is mainstream media that taking over and just portraying one side of the truth and manipulating the information for people in the US who don't read about what's happening in the Middle East, think that this area is always in conflict and then the West has nothing to do with it. Well, if you want to know what's happening in the Middle East, if you are from Africa, if you are from uh, Eritrea, if you are from Haiti or you are uh, from wherever you are, from Ethiopia, just look what's happening in your country and just put a mirror on it. And it's exactly the same scenario repeated over and over again. Thank you.